all right now with this let's add some few css so that it will look a little bit good right a little bit good so with that so let's start our container i can open the css on the other side so that we will be able to see it not very much but i just want to see the classes so now we want to style the entire we want to remove all the default styling that is the padding and the margin so we use star right so we say star style everything we say margin it should be zero and padding should be zero too so with this one i'm going to remove all the default styles can you see everything is compact Compared together, so what I will do here is that you can see that we have a, a f an empty input field here, one of our tasks. So what I will do is I'm going to write a value. I'll give it a value because every everything inside the input file is usually a value. Whatever you write inside this place is the value of that uh, input. So I'm going to write a value, something inside, so that we'll have a. Uh, something like the real to do that has been added so here we're going to just write value so we'll say build some projects then also I'm going to give it a class name this uh, li I'll give it a class name a class called task okay and one more thing, I want to disable this input field so that we will not be able to edit what is inside. So we'll say disable, you can simply do that with HTML, disable. So if I go back to my, you can see I have built some project, I can't edit it. So now let's add some small CSS so that we can structure it a little. So now we're going to start with our container, set dot container. And this container now, I want it to have the width of 40% so say width 40% then I want it to be at the center so that means and there should be a margin right I want to push the entire thing to the center here I want it to be at the center here of course you can do that using the flex but I want to use margin of course you know the difference between margin and padding right if I will use padding padding is actually the difference between this right up and the edge of the dome right so it will actually give a space it will still be inside the container but it's going to give a space between the right up and the edge of the container but if I will use margin margin is particularly going to push the entire container down right so I'm going to use margin say margin and I'm going to give it margin of two rams up and bottom then auto left and right if you say auto it's going to center it right put everything in the center then i'm going to give it a border line so that we'll see a border of one pixels solid and black right remember we say we don't remember i told you that we don't we're not going to do much of the css so now you see we have the margin the margin from the uh, the margin top you can see then if you want a padding the padding now is going to push everything inside and there should be a space between the line and the text so we're going to say padding let's give it a padding of maybe one pixels all around one okay one ram let's just say one ram right so we're going to have something like this good then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually make this one to go to the center so let's target our h3 h3 we said uh text align center so see, very simple so it's going to be at the center then we want to give it a little padding so that it will uh, or imagine let's just say imagine that will push the other things down so that it will not be too close to it. so we just say margin bottom margin bottom should read maybe one ram yeah right so we have something like this good then the next thing is we are going to hide this but before we hide it 
uh, I would like to make it re uh, the center a little bit yeah you can see that this space here is more than what this here so I'll, I'll particularly I'll push I'll push this these things here so that it will be a little bit at the center right so with that I'm going to target the form because almost everything is inside the form so I'm going to target the form uh, where is it we have the form here right so of course you know you can style a HTML tag without uh, putting any dot because dot is for classes and hash is for uh, JavaScript uh, sorry for ID right so I'm going to say form and I'm going to give it a width of 90% width sorry width of 90% and I am going to make it to be a center so we say margin uh, let me give it maybe zero top and bottom and auto left and right so let's check it good you can see it's a little bit and I want to remove this L, uh, this li this this bullet and also um this our search button should not be too close to the alt task so i will basically push everything here down so let me see we have uh here let me give this this such input let me give it an id id of such dash input so so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to style it i'll give you a margin top and, and bottom so that of course we're going to use hash for id so we're going to set margin I'm going to maybe um, let's just say 0 0.5 frame, 0.5, 0 0.5 frame, and zero. So top and bottom will be good. We have something like this. Nice, nice. Then the next thing is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this. I'm supposed to hide this, right? I'm going to hide it. But before I did, I will give a small margin, right? There should be a small margin. Uh, and I will give it a color of red and also a background color so let's get the error remember I, I gave it a, a class name error. error so say color 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 red then we have a uh, background the background color should be red but not actually red I will use you know I will use Visual Studio Pro to to get the background so let me just try get something here so let's check it we have something like this good but you can see it's too long let me just shorten it right let me just shorten it and maybe give it a width let me see uh, I will give it a width so let me give it a width of maybe eighty percent width of 80% so if I, I save it at least right or let me reduce it maybe should I, I mean, it's not that important we're not after CSS so maybe let me just give it a margin a margin some margin of maybe 0.5 RAM up and bottom then zero left and right so we're gonna have something like this good so oh, is it too much let's just leave it like that then uh, the next thing is let's move our task list down a little then remember we oh we forgot to add a button clear all button but not a problem we can just target the task list and remember that we have we have given it a we have given the task list a class name of task list so you can just say dot task list and we're going to say margin let's give it a margin of one ram then zero so top and bottom one ram and zero so at 
place is a little bit far now. Then we're going to remove the L I. So we're going to say the list style should be what none, right? None. So if I would check it, we don't have it. Good. Then the next thing I forgot is our delete button. So supposed to have a delete button here. Let me open this one up. We have button of class name delete. So say button of dot to so say delete or clear all. Let's just use clear all. Clear all. So we have this. You know, say clear all tasks right so we have this and let me check it if we have anything to good we have something like this i think we are good to go so this is basically the css nothing serious uh, if you want to make it look good of course you can add some css you can do more of the css by itself then let's go and start let's start our main work for the day but oh, I forgot I'm supposed to hide this this one's supposed to be let's see arrow we said display none right so let's it should only appear when there is an arrow good I think for now we're done with the CSS and HTML so let's see the JavaScript then